All right, hello everybody, and welcome to day four of AWS reInvent. Now we are wrapping things up here as we are almost done. We are almost getting ready for the AWS Party Tonight replay, which I know we're all really looking forward to. But before we call it quits for this particular conference and head home, we do want to recap some of the announcements that have occurred today. So we have our esteemed panel here of AWS course authors here at Linux Academy and Cloud Assessments that are going to be answering some questions regarding things that were announced today. So we're going to start out talking about AWS Cloud9 Editor, which it looks like is a new integrated IDE for AWS users and we're going to talk about that now, so. Yeah, so apparently uh, Cloud9's been around a while. It's been a favorite IDE of many developers. And um, I guess about a year ago, Amazon purchased them, and now there's some really tight integration into Lambda and AWS services. And the other thing is, is that it allows, it, it automatically installs all the SDKs, all the tools that you need, and it allows people to collaboratively develop in the same IDE which could, you could probably so, really mess with some people. So what, <laughs> what, were, what were people doing before this announcement? So what were they using, what, were the, what is this fixing in terms of an issue or problem that developers were having using AWS in terms of any sort of an ID, IDE or collaborative type of uh, development work? So one of the things that's, that's rolled into this is, a, is a basically a Lambda test environment that you could run local to test your Lambda functions and then basically just push a button and push it out and it starts running it remotely in your AWS environment. All right, so we're also now going to talk about serverless repo. That was something else that was announced this week as well, this morning to be exact. And so, Derek, you're going to talk a little bit about that here. So let me, let me kind of squeeze over here. Yeah, all right, we, we, got go. it, we got it, we got it. A little tight Okay, here. so the uh, serverless repo, Essentially, I mean, we already have the serverless application model, which is great. Allows you to manage your Lambda, DynamoDB, API Gateway, and all of your serverless services all in one place. But the thing is, you still have to use your own computer. You have to use a, you, have, you upload zip files. You have to bounce them between S3. Do all sorts of really aggravating things. So they've managed to create a repository for this information. So it will make it a lot easier to deploy your serverless services. Uh, just much simpler, much faster, and much more efficiently. Now also, something not specifically AWS was released today, and that is Alexa for Business. Now do you guys have an, an Echo at home at all? Do you use that at all? I do, and let's say Alexa a lot on this video in case everyone's got them on. Alexa, add linuxacademy.com to my shopping list. Um, <laughs> Cloud assessments to my favorites. So the cool thing about Alexa for business, um, it's, it's kind of what exactly we think it is, right? So, you know, you can use Alexa for smart home, um, and now you can use Alexa for kind of a smart office they're talking about. So you can schedule conference calls, you can have collaborative work calendars, you can set up uh, Amazon Echoes all around your office, and you can start to integrate it into your daily workflow. It's going to be really interesting to kind of see where Amazon goes with that, but I just thought it was really cool because I know that I have an Alexa at home, or an Echo I should say, and I talk to Alexa frequently. Um, Sometimes good, sometimes bad, you know. But uh, this, you know, I, I, it's it's really fun and, and cool to use. So I just I just thought that was something that was really fun and cool, more lighthearted of an announcement today, kind of not as technical as many of the other things that get announced today that we really have to dive into. So, but I do want to talk to Craig here as well. I, what? We're looking to get here is just, I'm, I'm curious to know, uh, what did you really enjoy about reInvent? Because this is your first time here at reInvent, so it's always nice to get a fresh perspective on what it was like to be here at this conference, because it's, it's a crazy one. This is a big conference. Absolutely, two things really struck me. First of all, I really enjoyed working the booth, and I enjoyed the enthusiasm of the folks that stopped by. I talked to dozens and dozens of our students and they just they stop by and they want to say thanks. Really cool thing that happened a couple times was I'd be talking to an individual who was interested in what we do and students would interrupt and just say, get these guys, you got to get these guys, they're awesome. So that was really, really cool. Awesome. Was there any particular uh, breakout session that, that you really would say was your favorite? Yeah, I kind of I geeked out a bit on the VPC I, I had registered for a seat and I was like third or fourth in line. <laughs> and uh, so I'm up in the front row, I'm right there. And uh, they announced, I, I guess, you know, I heard live their announcement of inter-region VPC pairing, yep. which is a huge thing. And you know, it's like breaking news and I'm sitting right there in the front row. So I, that, that was really exciting for me. 
That's awesome. Uh, how about you, Trent? Because this is your first uh, AWS as well. What are, what are your thoughts on, on the whole conference? Oh, yeah. I, w I was in a couple sessions Monday that, that I found that there were some interesting things. There, one of the sessions was talking about using some of AWS's AI-type components like Macy to look at CloudWatch and actually do automatic security triggers in your environment, which I thought was cool. That I'm going to research that a lot more, so I'm interested in that. Derek, what do you have to add to that? Man, I'm tired. I'm ready to go to the party. I think I think we're all we're all a little tired. It's been, it's been some late <laughs> nights. Uh, we're ready for the replay party. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess also let's get uh, Justin. Justin, why don't you come over here? Come on in for a second. Come on. <laughs> so, uh, Justin, introduce yourself to our, our, our students here. Yeah, Justin Overstreet, uh, work at Linux Academy, business development. Business development. So he's, uh, you know, one of our non-tech employees over here at Linux Academy. So I want to get his perspective being here, just from, from a non-engineer standpoint, from somebody that is not involved in AWS on a daily basis, but certainly, uh, you know, works in the industry, a part of us here. So what, what was kind of your opinion, thoughts on AWS as a conference? What did you really enjoy about being here? Yeah, so this is my second year uh, actually coming over here last year together. And uh, I mean, this year, we, we, we seemed more prepared this year mm -hmm. than last year, obviously, to deal with the crowds. Uh, last year, we didn't even know what to expect. We just kind of showed up. So, uh, But man, my vantage point here, my whole team's here working, doing their thing. And uh, we've had some great conversations around enterprises and, and being able to figure out solutions, creative solutions for individuals that have accounts to maybe migrate their accounts over to an enterprise account where they're not actually having to come out of pocket for their subscription, but the, their company they work for, their team, whatever, they're able to uh, kind of capture that cost for them. That's been a lot of fun to figure that solution out for people and talk to them. We've had some, I don't know how many conversations we've had. It's been a tremendous amount, but they've all been very, very um, impactful, I think. All right. Well, I think that's going to wrap things up for Linux Academy and Cloud Assessments here at reInvent 2017. If you are here in Vegas, come join us at the replay party later tonight. We hope to see you there. We'll have some drinks and have a good time. And if not, we'll see you on linuxacademy.com and cloudassessments.com in the coming weeks. We'll see you all later.